whatever one. So, you're welcome. If you can see me, please let me know before I start. So, I'm so sorry for starting late. Just so sorry. Okay, hi Emmanuel. I did doing from Lagos. You're welcome. So please, if you can hear me, if you can see me, let me know. I just need to confirm before I continue. Fine. Fee. Let me pronounce the one that I can. Amaka, you're welcome. Okay, you can see me. Can you hear me? Kola Wale, good evening. You're welcome. Franka, hi. Okay, okay, you can see me. Can you hear me? Let me know, please, before I continue. Okay, Amaka, you can hear me. Okay. Okay, Steph, good. You're watching from Asaba. Okay, so guys, welcome to today's live stream. I'm so sorry for starting late. I've been so busy all day, so I was so tired. I just needed to rest a little bit. Okay, so let me know where you're watching me from before we continue, before we start. So guys, we are going to start now. So I need, okay, Kola Wale, you're welcome. M MC Top Less Fashion High, okay. Peace TV, hello. Yes, I can hear you watching from New Carolina, Sarawak State. You're welcome. Franca, yes, you are watching from the US. Amaka, you're watching from Enugu. Leusa Ahmed, good evening, ma. Mikai, so you're welcome. You're watching from Zambi, Zimbabwe. Okay, you're welcome. Faith, Sandra, you're watching from Abba. Okay, so welcome, guys. The Korodu, Kola Wale, you're welcome. So, guys, let me adjust my camera back. So, as I go along, I'm still going to. I hope you can see my table. So, we just need to manage, like I told you guys, when it comes to live stream, I just need to manage the space that i have so i'll be able to do this because if i look at this place i will never do live stream okay hilta brown good afternoon i wonder where you're watching from this is that you're greeting us good afternoon <laughs> he let brown where are you watching us from <laughs> okay so before we continue yes today's live stream what we are going to be doing i'm going to be showing you how to attach a basque waistline to a skirt okay so i just had to fast forward some of the things which i'm going to explain before we continue okay hey let you're watching from jamaica you're welcome okay so when you want to make a dress that has the basque waistline okay topless fashion you're watching watching from potaka so welcome so when you want to make a dress that has a basque waistline what you are going to do your basic bodies you are going to cut it if your bustier you are going to cut it the same normal bustier the only thing that you are going to add is the length you are going to increase the length okay so for today's class here is the piece that we are going to be making use of so i'm just going to manage like i said we're just going to manage the space we have so i hope you can see you can see that it is longer than usual this is the back this is the back piece which this is normal half cut you can see the difference let me see you can see the difference you see this one you see the back piece and then you see the front piece is longer than normal so i'm going to explain to you guys now to see what we have so i have some lines here which i'm going to explain as we go along it's a simple process like i normally see in all of my videos so these are our lines okay so I hope you can see. So this is our normal. So this one I'm using a princess that. So for instance, when drafting your pattern, you draft it. So you can see what we have here. So this is our shoulder. I hope you can see. Oh, please, if you cannot see anything, let me know on the comment section. So it will it will help me a lot. So as I, as I walk, I will know that you people cannot see me. This is a live stream. So anything you can always drop your your whatever just drop it okay so you can see this is 10 inches so this 10 inches is my bust point 
and then this is my under bust which is 13 inches and then this is my half cut my normal half cut on a normal day without a basque waistline if i want to make a gown now that does not have a basque waistline i'm going to stop it at 18 inches so because i want to add a bas basque basque yeah basque waistline to my dress so you can say i added extra inches i added almost nine inches nine inches is much but it's better for you to add extra so at the end of the day you can always trim it out okay so you can so when you are marking the basque waistline you can play with it it's better for you to have excess than for you not to have enough that you now cut one kind of basque waistline that will just stand like uh, what i don't know so it's not good so for this we're using about nine inches which is okay okay so this is it now so you can see what we have so the next thing i'm going to show you our skirt so this, like i said this is the back piece so for the back piece we have 18 inches that's from the shoulder which is our normal you understand you can see it now it's even 17.5 18 roughly it's almost 18 so this is normal half cut so the back is going to be normal half cut so this is my norm please if you can still see me please let me know on the comment section because my the connection went out a little bit so i hope you can still see me so i'm not just talking to myself please let me know on the comment section you can say hi you can say hello let me just know that you can still see me okay guys I need to know that you can still see me. Okay. Merci, Peter. Okay, so now let's continue. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. I thank, I thank you, Ola Di Popu, for, for confirming. Okay. So this is our skirt. You can see my skirt. So I need you guys to confirm for me time to time because of our Nigeria internet. So this is our hip line okay this is our hip line for the skirt so this is the length of the skirt so you can make your skirt as long as you want so you sew your top this top part of your dress i've explained the extra inches that you add to it and then this is the skirt pattern that's you sew your skirt add your dart to your skirt you understand but don't um line it depends on what you want you can line it you if you want to do an inseam you don't need to line it but if you don't want to do an inseam you want to do the normal lining to line that you use lining to turn it line your cloth line everything sew them separately two piece okay so the next thing i'm going to show you now so now we're going to work with the front piece this is the part that we're going to work with so i'm trying to i'm looking for the best way to place this okay so let's place like this okay so this is our line this is our waist which is our half cut this is our under bust so we have our this is where we're working with so the next thing i'm going to do now I'm, i want to create a basque waistline it's a very simple process you understand so now it depends on how long i want my basque waistline we have different types of basque waistline we have curved basque waistline and we have sharp v basque waistline so as a beginner i would advise you don't don't do that the one that is very sharp you might it might be a little bit okay i thank you Thank you for confirming that, that the network is restored. So you so I, you can, like I said, sorry, just do, don't do the one that is very sharp. Just do the one that is not very pointy. So that will make it easy for you. Okay. So now when creating a basque waistline, your, your waist, that's your normal half cut. That's where you work with. So the next thing now, from this point now, I'm just going to determine how wide i want this part of my basque waistline to be you understand if i want to do so i'm going to do all the different um dimensions for you guys so you can see them so if i want to do a sharp basque waistline now the one that the one of these slim v here's what i'm going to do i'm just going to place my my curve like this and then i will come to this point and then place it here like this and then i'm just going to do this so you can see so this is a sharp basque waistline you can see this is a sharp that very sharp basque waistline 
at the end of the day this is what how it's going to look like but if you don't want to do this sharp bar squeeze line most times what i normally do because i don't want to lose some inches on my on my dress what i will do from that half cut you can decide to go up a little bit or you come down a little bit by half of an inch that's from your waist from your half cut just come down a little bit and then if you want to do the curved one the curved basque waistline here is what you are going to do you are, you are just going to take your curve like this your pattern curve and then from this point like this so i hope you can see what i'm doing from this point like this you mark it into this point so you can see two types of basque waistline now is what i've showed you so this is the sharp one and then this is the curved one okay so if you don't want to do this sharp one or the curved one you just want to do the one that is a little bit in between you can just decide to use your pattern curve however and just create it but before creating it on this side you are going to determine how open this side does the length from the down part you understand if the sharp one comes up more it comes up more so you can see it came up almost like six inches but the curved one you don't really need much you just need about three inches okay so i'm going to cut this out now let's see the curved one so at the end of the day you can see how it is but now we're not going to work with this we're going to work with the sharp one so the sharp one if as a beginner i would advise like i said just don't come into this tip too much so you can decide to just come out a little bit i don't know why this one is flying around come in a little bit by like one inch okay so when you come in like that by that one inch that one inch you will now use that one inch to connect it to that part so with that like this so with that this tip part that's this part is not that tiny as this because you now came in by one inch you understand you came in pamela you're welcome you came in by one inch so you have a little bit of allowance here when you are stitching for you to stitch okay so now i'm going to cut this out now so for instance now so i'm going to check at the end of the day now i'm going to check I was looking for my tip i'm going to check from this point so this is my nine inches if i don't want nine inches that nine inches is too is too long so i can decide to stop it i can decide to make it eight inches or seven inches so if i want to stop it to make my basque seven inches here is the same thing i'm going to do so i'm just taking my time because this is a live stream to explain this i will come in just same thing i did here i'll come in by one inch so from that one inch here i'm now going to take this and then i will connect this like this now to this point like this so with this now the length of my basque waistline that i'm using for this now the length is seven inches why i have 7.5 after stitching it's going to reduce to seven inches so that's now the, the length so the pencil if you want the very deep one you can see it's got to nine that's this first one we did okay so i'm going to open this up now for us to see so you can see what we have so the next thing i just want to reduce the wideness of my pattern okay so this one is not i just want to reduce it so it is easy for me so now i'm going to take my back piece now i want to place them like this okay I just want to reduce so whatever you do the next thing I'm going to do now that I want you to to see so you can see that my my basque I need to make sure that it is equal with my back so you can see these inches that I have if I stitch it like this I'm going to have problem it's not going to align so that is why you need to make sure you check the back and the front properly before you do this. On the sides, they need to they need to align together nicely. So I'm going to I'm trying again to make sure that I trim out to make sheets. So this you can actually do this now 
or you can do it when marking on the skirt so it also helps so make sure just trim always make sure that they are the same you understand the, the sides that's the edges if you can still see me please let me know let me not be, just be doing and be doing and it's not I'm trying to check to make sure that the thing is counting. Okay. Please, if you have questions, you can drop your questions. So, I'm going to take out the back. So, this is our front piece now. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to take out, take my skirt. This is my skirt now. I'm going to add. So, now we want to add this together. So, this is what we will do. You can see me. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Joy. For confirming you can see how i'm placing them right you can see how i'm placing them this, this is my skirt now okay i may thank you this is my skirt so when you now want to cut it make sure you take this and then you place it like this on top like this you understand you place it on top if you don't want to use the seven inches if you want your basque to be five inches if you don't want it to to go too deep 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 you can still reduce the length you saw the way i did it just now reduce the length by that and then you are going to take this when you take it like this make sure that they are on each other like this okay so sometimes your skirt might be longer that it might be wider you understand so that one there's no problem with that and then you place them together. Make, make sure that you're placing them together. And then you take your chalk. This is what you are going to do. Create that exact line. You understand? That exact shape. Don't create anything that is not there or, or else it will not fit in. Create that exact shape like this. You can see. I've created the shape, okay? So when I create out the shape. So my skirt, like I said, is already sewn, coupled. That's it. Okay, Manuel, you're welcome. Thank you so much for confirming. Thanks for enjoying the class. So you mark it like that. So the next thing that we're going to cut that out. I, you can see that it came out. It's the same thing. And when you want to cut, don't cut here. Oh. Uh -huh. So don't cut like that. So you are going to cut it almost even like one inch. A little bit above. You understand? Because this one, if you cut it... If there's any magana, like my other people will say, that one is bot of market. So I'm going to open this now, and then I'm going to place it. So you can see that the thing fits perfectly well. You see, I cut almost like one inch above. You understand? If you cut it the same, it will be too big. So now the next thing that we're going to stitch this. It's a very simple process. So we're going to stitch this. So when we want to stitch, now I'm going to take this now. So I need to pin this together okay so that center part like that i'm going to pin that part together okay and then i'll take this like this to this side i'm just going to pin so i hope you can see what i'm doing and then i'm going to pin my pressing iron is not here. Yeah. So I'm looking for my pin, so just imagine. You can see this side entered properly. Okay. So I'm going to stitch. So now let's adjust the camera. Let's stitch one part first. So you can see our machine. Okay. So we're starting from that center, that pin, 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 middle, sharp end, edge. Make sure that it is staying on it sharp. You can see. Make sure. Okay. And then I'm going to drop my foot now, my machine foot, now. and then I'm going to start stitching. So let's 
once I get to the edge, I'm just going to top stitch it and then I'm going to open this up. And then I'm going to turn the other side now. Okay. So when I turn the other side, this side at times it can be it can be funny and very demanding. So I'm trying to just loosen it a little bit, that center part, because I want it to, to clip very well, okay? So I've opened it up. So with that, now I just opened a little bit. And then I'm going to start stitching the other side. Okay. So just make sure. Use your hands to arrange it very well. So if it's, if it's a, a curved one now, it will be easy. You just navigate your curve a little bit. But if it's that very pointy one. Okay. Just give me. Thank you. It's hot, right? The connection went off a little bit. So please, I need somebody to confirm if you can hear me. It has stopped. It's not counting. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. I hope you can see me. So I'm just going to continue. Please, if you can see me, let me know. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Franca. Thank you for confirming. So I'm going to open it up now. Let's see what we have. You can see what we have. So you can see this part is not, um, it did not settle down properly. It did not settle down properly. But most times you can do a top stitch. So when you do give it a top stitch, it settles it down from the back. That's from the lining from the inside. So I'm just trying to, let me just try and settle that part. That's like <laughs> smoothing it down a little bit and see. Okay. So I'm trying to see. Before I continue, I'm almost done. So I just hope that the other parts were captured. It does connect. 